It is officially 2024 now. Time to look at the best World of Warcraft private servers for the upcoming year, including not only my personal favorites, but also the private servers that are about to be released this year and as soon as one, two or three months from now. Number one, a server that was supposed to launch in 2023 and I think it was supposed to launch in early November. It still hasn't launched yet, it's already January 2024. There have been many updates on their Discord server, so if you want to know what's going on about the server, the best place to be is their Discord. The server that I'm talking about is Duskhaven Reforged. My best guess would be that it's gonna be coming out maybe in March, probably not anytime sooner than that, since there's no even estimate of when it should be coming out. But you can bet, once it comes out, it's gonna be huge. Just a quick look at the number of online people on their Discord server. It now showing over 5,000 people. At about peak time, all the servers and their populations we're going to be looking at is from around 7 to 8 p.m. EU time. And that is mostly the peak time for most private servers. So this is about as good as it gets. And if any private server Discord has this many online members on there, you can bet it's going to be super popular once it comes out. If you want to know more about Duskhaven, I've made a video previously, probably a couple months ago now, what to expect from Duskhaven Reforged. With that being said, number two private server that is probably coming out in March this year, if that's what the countdown is for, is Stoudy Legion that we've been waiting for like four years now at least. The last update we've got is a video from December the 1st, so exactly a month ago. They've been posting a few updates here and there to their Discord server and they're also live streaming the testing realm. Many people waiting for this. Most people thinking it's gonna be the next big thing, which it probably is going to be. But let's be honest, Tauri now, despite it being one of the best scripted private servers out there, is pretty much dead. It's reaching up to 1,000 players online at peak. And that is just uh, small server territory at best. There's pretty much no PvP to be expected on the server other than some casual random battlegrounds at peak time, that's it. And PvE with your guild. So what makes you think that Legion on Tauri is gonna survive if their Mist of Pandaria didn't? Because one of the things that's gonna happen, maybe in 2024, later in the year, maybe in 2025, we don't know, is the release of Legion on Stormforge. For those of you unfamiliar with what Stormforge is, it's essentially many of the people from Tauri Project working on Stormforge. They released Mist of Pandaria killing Tauri Project and they say they want to do the same with Legion eventually. They want to release Legion first on Tauri and then they say they want to release on Stormforge. What that's gonna mean for Tauri's Legion is probably that the fresh Legion, or whatever it's gonna be, maybe it's not gonna be fresh, it's gonna be progression from Mistblade, Mist of Pandaria Realms. Either case, it's gonna be newer. People are gonna want to play the new thing again, which will most likely kill Tauri's Legion again, and we will have to play Legion on Stormforge, leaving our Tauri characters behind on a dead realm most likely, so... And the final mission goes to a project lacking longevity, but not lacking extreme popularity all throughout 2023 pretty much, which we don't see very often from new projects. It is White Mane, White Mane's Cataclysm, very well established at this point, but they're coming with something new. They're coming with Wrath of Lich King, which should be releasing probably in February this year, most likely. We still don't have an exact launch date, but that's what it seems like. The PTR should be opening shortly for that. And then Cataclysm on Maelstrom is at the end of its progression. They only released Dragon Soul, the last patch content, a couple days ago. So now it's probably gonna be three months, realistically, of the last patch content before something new will have to arrive. And this will most likely mean a new, fresh Cataclysm Realm for white main, which will again be guaranteed extremely popular. This realm that I'm online on right now is their only Cataclysm realm called Maelstrom, 
And if we refresh slash who, there's 2,540 people online right now, which makes it the biggest Cataclysm server by a mile. And again, as with most other World of Warcraft private server projects, you can follow them on their Discord server for the earliest updates. Or if you want to see my beautiful face, then just subscribe to this channel and I will update you here. So, these are my personal choices for the best upcoming World of Warcraft private servers that will be mostly launching in January, February and March of this year. So, it's very close. They're going to be all extremely popular, guaranteed. And I can't wait for them. I'm definitely going to cover all of them once they come out. And now, without further ado, my top three World of Warcraft private... My top three World of Warcraft private servers that I will be most likely spending majority of my time playing on in 2024. Number one, Turtle Wow. JK. Ha ha ha, gotcha. You thought I was being serious, huh? No, of course Turtle Wow's not on the list. One of my top three, and it may be the private server that I spend most time playing on in 2023, is White May Maelstrom Cataclysm. Whatever happens to their Cataclysm, whether they're gonna kill Maelstrom with uh, whatever new fresh Cataclysm realm they're gonna come out with, it's still gonna be number one Cataclysm by a mile, and with the coming of Cataclysm Classic, you can expect tons of players jumping into playing White Main and getting ready for the official thing. I haven't played on White Main for like a few months, two or three months actively, I came back a few days ago, played for a couple of days, a few hours a day, and I found quite a few issues with the server. Now there's a few bugs that got me pretty annoyed. There's some bugs with classes. We still have a bug present on the server where when a rogue vanishes, pets of the enemy player will still follow them through vanish. So the rogue is invisible, nobody should see him, but the pets keep following the rogue. Which is a huge issue. If you play against hunters, or death knights, or warlocks, you're in big trouble and you're losing one of your major cooldowns. This was a problem almost a year ago, in February when I was playing in a 1v1 tournament against the rogue as an unholy death knight. My gargoyle and ghoul were just chasing that guy through vanish. And it's still here, I found out. Another thing that happened to me, I wanted to report a player. So I clicked on report player and guess what happened? I got kicked out of the game. So I had to log back in. And I tried this again, like what was it a coincidence? Let me try again. I found another player being uh, not being very nice. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I tried to reporting him in the game and guess what? I got kicked again. So. There's bugs and issues like this, I've heard about some other ones, so scripting is not the best thing about white main, but it's still I'd say good enough in most of the situations anyway. One of the most active PvP servers in the world right now, there's so much activity even in the early mornings, you can queue up for 3 v 3 solo queues, 2v2, 3v3s, normal 3v3s aren't super active, but they're still okay and you can obviously see the world is full of people it's lively it feels like world of warcraft and that's one of the best things about white main plus they're coming out with various events keeping people occupied at all times giving awesome rewards i've never seen a world of warcraft private server player get these kinds of rewards for playing the server's events it's crazy i could not leave it out it's warming it's just that good long term it never changes it's always there for you the same characters you're able to play them over a span of several years it's always active there's always so many people around so if i just want to queue up for any kind of pvp i just log on to the blackrock realm or i can create a new character in a matter of seconds and queue up for PvP. I can do duels in the dueling zone, or I can struggle finding an active guild on the Ice Crown Realm to run raids with. There's also new events that they implemented just now, so War May never slacks off. Every time tries to improve, even over the years, no matter how popular it is. And it's just so good to see a real, good, active, populated private server that actually lasts for years without the necessity of changing too much 
are coming out with fresh realms every year. Which they actually do come out with a fresh realm every year, but you know what I'm saying. They don't have to do it because their old realms are still extremely popular anyway. This is the new Onyxia realm that only came out a few months ago. It is progressive through expansions. Yeah, there's issues with warming like multi-boxing, ganking, max level players will be killing low level players in zones like Ice Crown and uh, in Outland, Thralmar and so on. Well, that just comes with the territory. People get bored after all those years and they have nothing to do. I would definitely not recommend Warmain for a new player to World of Warcraft. Maybe the Onyxia Realm, since it's fresh, it's kind of easier to catch up, but even then it's very competitive. But through all its issues and all the negatives about the server, it just still has to be in my top 3 no matter what. And the last one, also with very decent longevity, has existed for many years already and still keeps improving and delivering new things. Last time with the Season 9 Destiny's Dawn, they keep improving their classless concept even after all those years. I'm still hoping Conquest of Azeroth is gonna come live this year. I feel like I keep saying that every single year that Conquest of Azeroth hopefully will come out this year. <laughs> Yeah, but Ascension is immensely popular for a good reason. It's a very innovative way of playing World of Warcraft. So if you're one of those people that maybe have been playing World of Warcraft for many years and you don't find it fun anymore, it's dull, the gameplay is predictive, just try Classless. Ascension is great. You have so many options how you can play your class. Or your spec, I shouldn't even call it a class because you're not really a class. And there's so much to discover on Ascension because there's so many features and unique events and ways you can play the game. I think it needs to be in any one of my top 3, 5 or 10 lists for World of Warcraft private servers because it is one of the best. So these are the server that for me personally are the best right now and I see them being the best for the upcoming year. Obviously I may be looking for something else in World of Warcraft private servers than you are. If you have your own picks, agree, disagree, have different experience playing on World of Warcraft private servers, let us know in the comments. I always read all comments so be nice please. Like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet because I know there's a good chance you're not. Thanks for watching if you got this far, and I will see you in World of Warcraft. Wow. I'm buffed.